Hello everybody and uh, happy Sunday from Japan. It's uh, Monday morning here. I hope you guys all had a great Saturday. Maybe go out, you know, party a little, see your friends. <laughs> I saw my friends, but um, I didn't have any drinks. That was um, not as challenging as I thought it would be. Other people were ordering drinks and I just said, no, I'll get, uh, I'll get grapefruit juice. It was really bitter. Grapefruit juice, cola. One off of my diet a little bit, but, um, that's all right. I've got, uh, I've got the next couple of weeks to do that just fine, you know? So, oh, that's my, that's my cheat day now. Hunker down and take it seriously this week, you know? <laughs> I can go get my fix of all the sweet things, which I did last night. I went a little overboard, but, um, I've done it before and gone back to losing, so sort of uh, reset my willpower for the week. <laughs> oh man, these, these shirt collars are sitting kind of funky. All right, that's better. Anyway, yeah, um, there's one thing they have in many restaurants here. It's really common. It's called nomi hodai, tabe hodai. So hodai is like as much as you can. So sometimes they have, of course, you pick one or you pick the other. So nomi hodai is all you can drink. And it's including alcohol. And it's like not really the particularly like high class alcohol, right? But it's like cheap beer, you know, cheap mixers and stuff. But um they have that and then Tabihodai, again it's not like super nice dishes, but just as much food as you can order. So you order it like one piece at a time, right? But um I did that, right? And they had two hours, two hours, all you can eat, all you can drink for three thousand yen, which is like less than 22 bucks and that's like pretty standard here you can go if you pay like 5,000 yen which is like 30 40 bucks you can get like two or three hours at some places and you can get the like pretty nice menu items too so I was wondering like do you guys know of any places that do that any like all you can drink options because I've never seen that in America I think they would absolutely go broke and people would just get plastered and probably pick fights with the staff and it would cause all sorts of problems not to mention the tipping yeah but um yeah i just wonder like do you can you guys think of anything like that are there any fancy all you can eat places because in america too we don't really have like fancy decent food that's all you can eat right it's usually kind of um buffet style not necessarily the best or the freshest food but in Japan, it's like made to order. Like you order the dish, they make it for you specifically. And they don't take that long. Although the waiters aren't that enthusiastic usually. Our waiter last night, she was um, probably college age, but she wasn't so enthusiastic about taking orders from a bunch of drunk people. <laughs> so some things like that never change. Uh, but yeah, generally the wait staff though are, you know, I say they're probably the politest in the world. They put up with the most crap, and they don't take tips. So, like, wait, waiters here and, like, restaurant workers here are amazing. They're on another level. They're insane. Yeah. Especially since, like, one's like the one last night who wasn't particularly, um, who wasn't particularly, what should I say, polite. She wasn't particularly polite. Those are actually red. That's the exception that proves the rule here, so... Yeah, I wonder what you guys think about that, you know? Waiters not getting tips, all you can eat, all you can drink. I think those are th some things that are a little strange, a little different here about J uh, in Japan. But also, people are smaller here usually, and a lot of Japanese people have a lower alcohol tolerance. Some people are, have a really high tolerance, but yeah. Um, so that's one thing that's different here. But then people tend to do things in groups. Um, and like order like a round of the same drink, order like the same food for the whole table, stuff like that. It's much more common here versus America. Everybody has their own thing over here. People would order like, um, like we ordered like some Korean chicken and everybody got a piece. For example, we ordered like a pizza. Everybody took a slice, that sort of thing. Yeah. So it's sort of a feast where everybody's sharing kind of like, um, like in Texas, they have a lot of those like Chinese buffets, for example. It's similar to that where you order one dish, but then everybody takes a, bit, a piece a piece of it. It's not like one person gets the whole dish, you know? Yeah. So that's something that I like about Japan. It's sort of um, communal. 
But the downside of it is that sometimes you can end up eating less or drinking less. Unless you're with people who are used to having like international friends, then they'll just be like, oh, you want more? Yeah, let's order more. And I was so, uh, ended up ordering a lot, eating a lot. Yeah. Got a lot, got my protein in for the day. That was nice. Yeah. So, um, I want to know how you guys' Sundays are going, uh, how your weekend's going, and uh, how are your plans for the week. I'm about to go and get my workout in, actually. Then I'm going to get my walk in. i got to walk off. I, I, I went and got like a bunch of snacks and sweets after I finished. Kind of broke the levy on my um, on my fat ass mode, so I'm going to have to go and uh, burn that off today. Anyway, love you guys. Yeah, uh, let me know just anything else you want to know about restaurants or driving or culture public transportation, health and fitness, just let me know what you want to know in the comments or send me a message on Facebook. You know where to find me. Love you guys. Enjoy your Sunday. Peace.